Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so a few housekeeping things. Again, this is a Zoom. If we can ask everybody to keep themselves on mute until, um, unless I ask you when we're, when we're selecting the hymns. So uh, this morning, there's lots of hymns. It's basically a lessons and carol service. Um, and you can pick any of the Advent or Christmas hymns from our hymnal, um, which is number 239 through hymn number 300. We will be singing the first, uh, the two verses of every carol. So um, those are the housekeeping items. Um, thank you, Trevor, for the prelude. So welcome. Merry Christmas, and thank you for choosing to worship at and with Advent via Zoom this morning. Our service will be a service of the word and Christmas carol hymns sing. We'll take a moment of quiet centering as we prepare ourselves for worship. The Holy Spirit calls us together as the people of God. Our first hymn this morning, which I selected just to get us started, is hymn number 270, 270, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And we will sing verses one and two. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and, and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Shine into our hearts the light of your wisdom, O God, and open our minds to the knowledge of your word, that in all things we may think and act according to your good will, and may live continually in the light of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So it's time for another hymn. So if you would like to pick a hymn, uh, please unmute yourself to let us know what it is, and then uh, mute yourself well, when we've uh, selected. 279. 279. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Thanks, Carol.
Our first reading is from 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 18 to 20 and 26. Samuel was ministering before the Lord, a boy wearing a linen ephod. His mother used to make for him a little robe and take it to him each year when she went up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. Then Eli would bless Alkanah and his wife and say, may the Lord repay you with children by this woman for the gift that she made to the Lord. And then they would return to their home. Now the boy Samuel continued to grow in both stature and in favor with the Lord and with the people. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So we have another hymn selection. Uh, 267, Joy to the World. 267, thanks, Kristen. Our psalm for the day is Psalm 148. Hallelujah, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise the Lord, all you angels. Sing praise, all you hosts of heaven. Praise the Lord, sun and moon. Sing praise, all you shining stars. Praise the Lord, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, who commanded and they were created, who gave them stand fast forever and ever, giving them a law that shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind doing God's will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, sovereigns of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, whose name is only exalted, whose splendor is over earth and heaven. The Lord has raised up strength for the people and praise for all faithful servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's time for another hymn selection. Hymn to 70. 270. I think we sang that already. Did we? Yeah, that was the first. Okay, hymn. 279. 279. Mm -hmm. We sang that already too, Indy. Oh my! <laughs> Do you have a short memory? <laughs> it's okay. Two ninety six. Two ninety six. Two ninety six. What child is this? Perfect. Tim, two ninety six. What child is this? Thanks, Adele. <laughs> I'll find one that you that you have. We have a song yet.
Um, just uh, one quick note while we're picking hymns, our sending song will be 283 O Come All Ye Faithful, which Trevor's selected. So because he's busy and won't have time to, to choose. <laughs> Our second reading today is from Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 through 17. As God chosen one, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Word of God, word of life. Yeah. Thanks be to Thank God. Lord. So it's time for another hymn selection. 290. 290. I think it, I think it sort of fits with that lesson. Perfect. Go it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain, hymn number 290. Thank you, Karen. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. But his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. He said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them, 
His mother, his mother treasured all these things in her heart, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. It's time for another hymn selection. Indira, have you picked another hymn? 281. 281. Silent night. Silent night. Excellent. Thank you. Good. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Gabby. Morning, everyone. Morning. <laughs> I'll, mute, I'll, I'll mute now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Joining our voices with the heavenly host and Christmas throughout time and space, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need, saying merciful God and responding, receive our prayer. Come to us in gatherings of your church across the globe. Unite us with those who celebrate your birth, even when they are weighed down by grief, loss, poverty, hunger, or injustice. Merciful God, receive mm -hmm. our prayer. You come to us in the diverse splendor of the universe. Grant us the humility to trust our place in the network of creation, that we live in service to you and the natural world. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You come to us through relationships of many kinds, families, friendships, communities, and nations. Guide us in these relationships that we recognize the Christ child in one another and show your love to those most vulnerable. In our Advent family, we pray especially for Marcus, Tracy, Elizabeth, Samantha, Tolston, Astrid, Bill, Gemma, Elsie, Charles, Elias, Forazon, Renasha, and royalty, and Monica. Merciful God, receive mm. our prayer. You come to us through people whom the world forgets, poor shepherds, and an impres imprisoned Paul announced your good news. Send your spirit to all who are imprisoned, struggling with addiction, unwell, or in any need this day especially those we name aloud or in the quiet of our hearts. Merciful God, receive mm -hmm. our prayer. Mm -hmm. You come to us through those who have died yet live with you forever. 
Merciful God, receive our prayer. Rejoicing in your word made flesh among us, we commend these prayers to you, confident of your grace and love made known to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Also, also with you. you. It's time for another hymn selection. How about 288? 280. Again, Christian friends rejoice. Perfect. Thank you, Adele. Hymn number 288, Good Christian Friends Rejoice. nice peppy hymn. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Um, our sending song today will be hymn number 283, O Come All Ye Faithful, which Trevor selected. Um, we will sing verses 1 and 4.
Go forth into the world to serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Um, in place, that is concludes our service, but in place of a, um, a postlude, um, let's select one more hymn, uh, someone maybe who hasn't had a chance to pick a hymn. Sorry, Trevor, I'm throwing a bit of a curveball. <laughs> Does anyone have a, another carol from the hymn book they wanted to sing? Carol. You have to unmute yourself, Carol. Mute. Okay. That's a, that's a first. <laughs> uh, uh, two, six, nine, once in Royal David City. Okay. Hymn number 269, Once in Royal David City. And after this, we're, we can all unmute ourselves and share a little bit of social time after the service. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> 